Well, livestock sale markets in the U.S. have been a standing tradition for centuries. Farmers and ranchers go to socialize, drink coffee, and of course, buy and sell livestock. Growing up in an auction family, I never grew tired of hearing a good auction chant. But when I traveled to Europe and saw an English cattle auction, I was hearing a different rhythm. The English countryside is known for its peaceful and serene environment. But for cattle sellers and buyers, it's sale day. I know nothing about America other than it's big. <laughs> no? And you've got some very big auctions. John Uffold is chairman and lead auctioneer of McCartney's Livestock Market and says the English auction method is similar to auctions here in the States. The uh, market system developed in about the late 1800s as we know it now with what they call the open cry system, which is what you use in America where people shout the bidding out. And the auctions had their heyday probably in the 50s and 60s. Also like the U.S., McCartney's deal with their share of disease outbreak, making it nearly impossible for the business to operate. We had some uh, a BSE difficulties and then of course two outbreaks of foot and mouth. And during the foot and mouth year we were shut completely. Government wouldn't let us trade. It was against the law so we were legally shut, which makes it difficult to keep your client base. While the U.S. has never faced such a widespread disease outbreak, many of the challenges the English face are not that unsimilar to here. Uh, the old politics was that we didn't need food. You know, we, we could buy the food in the world, basically. Suddenly, with famine in the world, droughts in the world, is that right? What about food sustainability, food security? But even with obstacles, the market is thriving once again. The price now is strong. We're back to where we were in 1995, pre-BSE levels with price. And that price now is supply driven, not demand driven, because of the recession. Keeping the auction tradition alive, half a world away.